Morning folks, how are you doing? It's Des Catties. Um, in this video what I want to do is just show you a few bits of kit that I use. Um, this isn't a review as such. Um, if you're a follower to my channel you'll see me using this sort of gear all the time. Uh, and it's kind of the kit that I like to use. Okay, so don't want to get into an argument with anyone about what they use and all the rest of it. I'm always open to suggestions and ideas, but this is kind of what I use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share with you some of the stuff as I say, that I use in my uh, sort of cooking and my camping and bushcraft activities, as it were. All right, now the first thing I want to show you, uh, which most people will probably see me using a lot of the time, you'll always see little video clippings of me boiling up water, um, which probably some of you think, for God's sake, like, you know, we know how to boil a bit of water anyway, but, but basically what I like to use after the set that I've got is the Pathfinder um, 32, uh, 32 ounce bottle which is just short of a litre um, with the nestle uh, mug also comes with the lid if you're unaware of that which i'll get all the care and show you i've got the complete set that goes with this um, obviously you've got the cup i mean as you can see there my cup's well very well used um, use it all the time you know when i'm out and about um, obviously it comes with the lid as well. What I do like about the lid as well, which is a bit of a thing for me, um, is that the, the lid sits very snug on top of the cup. So obviously if it was to spill over or whatever, you know, you're not going to lose half your contents on the floor or on the fire. Um, so I'm really pleased obviously with the cup. Um, I've also got the, the, the fish opener, the mouth opener if you like. I believe, I think that this came later. I think when uh, Mr Canterbury... Uh, come up with the idea of producing the Nestle mugs and all the rest of it. I think the fish opener come actually a bit later and yeah, it's very good. I do use it. Uh, I mean, there's a bit of story behind mine. Mine looks a bit um, skew if I'm pissed at the moment. But simple as you know, toggle through there or a hook or whatever and then you can suspend that over the fire or over the heat or whatever. But the just little bit of a story of mine is that if you look at my hooks, they're a bit um, they're a bit skew with. And what it was when I first bought it a number of years ago out camping, I was out with my mate, and um, what it was, I still had a bit of the sticker on there that um, when I'd actually purchased it, and rather than just try and pick it off, which is I find a bit mundane anyway, I just chucked it on the fire, and um, I think a day and a half later we were clearing up the fire, clearing up the embers and everything. My mate said to me, "Oh, is this yours?" And then when it came out, this was white hot. And um, and it obviously gone a bit skew if so, um, but it still works. You know, I've still got the flexibility in it and everything else, and um, I like using that as well. Okay. Um, and then the final thing that I've got that goes with it is the the kind of burner, if you like. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't use it that often. Um, the idea is to obviously use it with that sitting on the ground. And then your burner, your trans, your burner, or whatever burner you're using under, underneath there. Um, I have used it, but as I say, I don't use it too much. I mean, what's really good about the whole thing, I suppose, is the fact that it's just, everything nestles together. So it kind of doesn't take up a lot of weight in the, in your, uh, not take up a lot of weight, take up a lot of, you know, take up only a certain amount of space inside your, inside your rucksack or whatever it is your carrying system you're using. Now with me, I tend to leave this, I carry this in a side pocket. Now, as I say, I don't really bother with this too much. Um, what I've also done as well, just because of all the carbon and everything else that you get on top of the cup, I've actually got this little bit of leather that what I do is um, basically place the lid inside there. All right, and then what I do on top of that, then the cup just sits in there nicely and it just stops everything from getting covered in carbon and everything else. Because as you see, I don't really clean the bottom of my cup that often. It gets a, it gets a, a clean up about once every six months, I suppose. All right, so uh, there's the, that's the Pathfinder setup that I use. Okay. Um, and then I'll segue into the into the into the, the one of the stoves that I use. Now I like to I've, I haven't brought it in, but I know I can sometimes use the uh, lightweight Trangia um, stove. It's basically just three flat pieces that go together like a triangle with a little bit of a grill inside, uh, like a, a a flat piece of steel with perforated holes in it, and then the burner will sit inside that, and then you'll have a couple of bars that go across the top. And I like that one. Um, but probably my favourite one is this. This is uh, my favourite um, stove by Bushcraft Essentials. Um, and this is the uh, 
the, the bush box I believe again it you know it folds down very well I mean the only thing about it really I think that lets it down is the is the weight of it okay so as I say I've got the uh, I've got this particular stove um, and again you will have seen it in the videos me putting it together but you've got two plates in there all right the camera's picking it up I hope obviously the first plate goes inside there like so then the second plate goes in on like that okay to develop your base now the beauty of this as well is that you haven't just got to use your um, your methylated your methylated spirits burner in it if you like now I carry mine in this little pouch the pouch is made by David Fryers um, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested at all but he makes a shed load of pouches and he's I think I'm not sure I think he's got his Etsy store up and running I need to confirm that with Dave but you can obviously reach him on Instagram if you're interested so there's a bit of plug in there for Dave all right and um, as I say I'll keep my transit burner sometimes I have the other little burner in there as well and then I also keep those two little flat plates in there. You know the one with their little stove that I got a little while ago that I got off of um, Geek. I also keep that in there as well because it, it doesn't weigh next. You know, it doesn't take up no room or nothing. I could even stick that in my pocket. But um, yeah, the Trangia. Um, you know, the the obviously we can burn wood in that. Um, then if I put this plate in there. Obviously then I've got the option of putting the burner inside and then just putting the, the two little flat bars on top to place in your um, you know place in your cook pot or whatever it is on my frying pan. You know in the last video you might see me doing quite a bit of cooking of late and um, which is you know I just thought I'd record it, just record me do it, just doing a bit of cooking but I like to use um, a cast iron skillet and then as you see there if you're unaware that the, the, the bits of bar just sit on top there and then your receptacle of what you're using to cook your stuff in you know basically then sits on top of that and then you've obviously got the other option as well with this with this um with the stove is to actually actually place it on top and use it like a kind of a grill if you really want to all right so um yeah so that's my other sort of stove if you like that i like to use Okay, so I'll quickly pack that up. Again, it goes in its own little bag, you know, nice little canvas bag. Alright, everything all sits in there, which obviously makes it quite ideal because it's nice and flat as well. It's not round, it doesn't seem to take up as much space. As I say, the only thing that kind of lets it down in my eyes is probably the weight, but when I've got all my other kit in there as well, it's probably insignificant. All right, and then the final thing I want to show then is the uh, fuel bottles. Now I use pretty much sort of between two and three different fuel bottles depending on how my mood is at the time when I'm packing my kit. I normally, sometimes I carry a tiny little bottle like this. This was um, a nail varnish remover bottle, so obviously I need one, I need to get rid of my nail varnish. You know, I, I used one of them, no, I actually got that off my daughter. So um, it's quite a nice strong bottle. I mean, nail varnish remover is pretty, uh, quite a, uh, a nasty little fuel anyway isn't it you know a nasty little liquid anyway so that's suffice to um, hold um, some methylated spirits in and normally I'll put enough in there um, with like a little bottle of water like a standard sized bottle of water inside the front of my burger and if it's just something that I want to get to to have just a quick brew all right if I'm going out for the whole weekend or if I'm going out for a longer duration, most of the time these days it's just weekends. I'm not really getting weeks away or anything like that as such because of job and everything else. But um, I'll either use I've got the two I've got two uh, two of the Trangia style uh, fuel bottles. Um, you've got the thousand litre one, and then you've got this one's the 500, which is slightly smaller. And then they do an even smaller one again. I'm not sure what that is. Probably 325 or something like that. You can't quote me on it. But um, yeah, I like these bottles. I mean, simply being, I mean, they're they're extremely safe. I mean, I used to work with Duke of Edinburgh as a wall groups, and years ago, if you know people that might remember the old sig bottles that we used to use, and you literally used to unscrew the lid, you used to have a whole either side of the of the um, of the of the lid, if you like, and you used to pour that in, and, and what used to happen, you used to get um, some people that forgot that their methylated spirits had, or their flame had gone out in their methylate in their burner and then go and tip the fuel in and basically get this massive whoosh backdraft of um, fuel sort of um, you know sort of burning them almost so it's quite a so what the I think Trangia come up with was a brilliant idea was having obviously having a spout with a screw top lid 
I mean obviously I'm not going to pour it now but the idea is obviously to press it down and then also you can adjust the airflow just by sticking your finger over the end of one of the you know one of the spouts so again that's a good you know good little um, good little thing that they come up with and as well you know having them in a red bottle kind of red for danger I suppose and it's a fuel bottle so there so there it is all right so there it is folks so i um, just wanted to show you some of the bits of kit that i use i mean I'm, you're probably all familiar with it there's tons of reviews on certain on some of this kit there but i'm not doing a review on it i'm literally just showing you some of the kit that i use um if you're interested in where i got it from or whatever then i'll just i'll i'll later put a little dis, put this uh, put uh, information in the descriptions if you're interested all right so um so that's it folks, so thank you for watching, please take care, if you want to subscribe to my channel please do so, and um, I'll see you on the flip side, take care, alright.